Well, here it is, folks, the first Super Tournament of the year, 2015, the 77th Tata Steel Chess Tournament. Great action, great tournament, great world-class players. Don't miss any of the action. All right, folks, John Cordisco back again. Round two of the 77th edition of Tata Steel Chess, 2015. This is the master section between current world champion Magnus Carlsen from Norway, highest rated player ever in the history of chess. And another newcomer to chess, but a newcomer to the U.S. as far as federations go, is Wesley So, originally from the Philippines, just recently joined the U.S. Federation. I believe Wesley's number 10 in the world now. I met Wesley and talked to him briefly at Millionaire Chess in Las Vegas last, last October. He's, he's a nice kid. And uh, he's no slouch, 27-62. Anyway, let's get to it. By the way, this is the first time Wesley's ever played Magnus, and he has the black pieces, so he's probably intimidated already. So let's get to it. C4, unusual choice for Magnus. Let's see how this plays out. E6, he decides to go with a Nimzo. Bishop, E3, Castles. Knight, then you go d5. Interesting, this is an interesting opening. a3, bishop comes back. Now, most of us amateurs, and that's the reason why we're amateurs, would probably would either back up to here, of course, that would lose the bishop with pawn, and then pawn, or takes, and then knight takes, and waste got a good position, and then goes back bishop d7 for that reason. c takes. E takes knight f knight f four g three. I kind of like knight f four myself. For a couple of reasons. It's a good spot for that knight, and this bishop now has a place to go. But Magnus, who am I to second guess the highest rated player ever in the history of chess? G three knight bishop g two. Magnus is a little behind development, but he's okay. The only thing I don't like about this opening for white so far is this light dark squared bishop is hemmed in. Knight b6, castles, rook e8, b3. That's how he's going to develop his bishop, I think. He's going to end up putting him on b2. We'll see how that works out. h6, queen c2, good spot for that queen. Can't be harassed by anybody. He's eventually going to connect his rooks. Bishop. A4, interesting choice. And that's also the computer selection. Either that or knight to f4. I still like knight to f4. <laughs> A4, A5 to stop that push. And finally, Magnus goes knight to f4. What to do, what to do. Of course, obviously, you've got to protect that pawn. And Magnus finally develops his last piece. Fritz computer's on off screen. It's a minute advantage for black. We'll call it even. And I'll tell you the truth, that's not bad for Wesley. First time we're playing Magnus. Here he is. A young kid at Vikings A in the A section, also known as the Master section. And he's playing Magnus Carlsen. Intimidation. Bishop B4. Hits the bishop. Bishop goes to F5. I mean, this is starting to get a little complicated here, folks. I mean, we get these minor pieces all bunched in together. I mean, it's it's tough. You can miscue and, and miscalculate very easily. Queen of D1 backs the queen off, gets it out of the pin. There's a pin from that bishop. But, of course, he has to protect the knight, so he puts the queen of D1. Bishop D6. Rook E1. Knight B to D7. Now the computer's showing that. It's showing that it, that knight wants to make a little march from b8 to a6 to b4. That's a lot of moving. Bishop a3, bishop takes, rook takes, knight b8. Here we go. Rook a2, knight a6, just like his plan, doubles up his rooks, rook d7. Knight d5, knight finally to b4. Now that knight went a long ways. 
We went from here to here to here to here to here. That's a lot of moving. Vector should be in better shape than he is with all those tempos, but who am I to say? That's a pretty good spot for that night now and B4. It better be a good spot. It took him long enough to get there. Anyway, E4 by Magnus. Pawn takes, knight takes, bishop takes, bishop takes, knight takes, rook takes. That's a lot of liquidation there real quick. Give you an idea, it's small advantage, tiny for black. We'll call it even. I uh, watched a short interview with Magnus, about a minute long, from Vikings A, and they asked him what happened in the game, and he says he got outplayed in the middle game. He was hoping to put more pressure on Wesley, and he said, well, he's a good player. What are you going to do? So, you know, Magnus, telling it like it is, like he usually does. Queen d5 for Wesley. Rook backs up. B5. Kind of a backward pawn there for Wesley on c6, but not that big of a deal. Knight g4. Rook takes. Knight takes. Not as good as rook takes. So after b takes, b takes c5. And black's doing okay. After knight takes, queen e4 for Wesley Magnus goes knight g4. C2. Knight e3. Queen e4, knight, queen c2, you see this coming, knight e3, queen, and that's where they decided to draw it, and the computer bears that out. Even if white went f3 now, it's still 0, 0.00, and a takes b, c takes is still drawn. Anyway, so that's the first game between the new American player, Wesley So, when I say new Changed federations from the Philippines to the United States just recently. And won the Millionaire Chess. Open at $100,000. So kudos to Wesley for that. And this is his first classical big-time game against Magnus. I think first ever classical game. And he played okay. So kudos to Wesley. Kudos to Magnus, too, for getting out played in the middle game, he said, and still managing to pull off the draw. So that's one of the games from round two, one of my favorite tournaments of all time. This is the 77th edition of the Tata Steel Chess, the master section. So as I always say at the end of my videos, if you think, if you think chess is just a game, you're not playing it right.